Good morning, everybody. Hey, I'm Pastor Beth, and I'm here to bring you your lesson this morning at Church From Home. Go grab your Bible. We're going to be in the book of Job today. I'll see you there in just a minute. Bibles in our hands, and hopefully you are open to Job chapter 42 today, my friends. Well, we have been in the book of Job, and we've been studying all about his life. And you know, Job was a righteous man. He always did what was right in the eyes of God, but you know what? Many bad things still happened to him. And the big thing about Job was that through all his trials, Job prayed and he followed God. He didn't turn his back on God. Even when his friends and his wife encouraged him to turn his back on God in different ways. Well, today we're in Job chapter 42, and we're going to learn about the very end of the story and what happened. And I'm really excited for you to learn this with me, my friends, because we're gonna find out, you know, at the end of the story, of, you know, this has been a really, really hard story about Job, learning about how he lost his whole family. He lost all his animals, you know, remember he was like, he was quite rich, wasn't he? He had all these animals and, and, um, and he had all these servants and he just lost everything. And then we learned about how Job lost his health too. He, he ended up just covered in welts. The Bible says from the bottom of his feet all the way to the top of his head, he had welts and they hurt so bad that scraping them with a broken pot felt better than actually like having the welts on his, on his body. It was really, really awful. And then another awful thing that happened really was Job's wife telling him, you should just turn your back on God. You know, it's really hard when our friends or our family uh, wants us to do something that we don't, we shouldn't do. And his friends gave him poor advice as well. And so now we get to see the very end of Job's story, and it's going to get happier, my friends. I'm really excited to share this with you. So I want to read for us Job chapter 42, verse 5. And, and actually, this is our memory verse this week, okay? Job 42, verse 5. My ears had heard about you, but now my own eyes have seen you. My ears have heard about you, but now my own eyes have seen you. Job 42, verse 5. Can you try saying that with me? I know we're doing things a little out of order today. We're going to start with the memory verse because it's at the very beginning of our story today. My ears had heard about you, but now my own eyes have seen you. Job 42, verse 5. I want you to memorize that verse this week. And here's what it means. It means Job is, Job is saying this to God, okay? Job is saying, God, you know, I, I used to hear about you. I used to, you know, like for us, it would be reading the Bible or going to church, hearing about God. But now my own eyes have seen you. He has actually experienced a relationship with God. Maybe for the first time, his ears had heard about God, but now his eyes have seen God. And now he knows, he knows in his heart, not just in his mind who God truly is because of this experience. So Job's faith grew through these trials because he experienced a relationship with God for the first time. The Bible goes on to say that God was unhappy with how Job's friends had responded to him. And so Job prayed for them. Look at verses, <coughs> excuse me, verses seven through nine. Um, the, he says, you know, God's not happy 
Um, and so now he wants them to take a sacrifice and have Job pray for them. And God says, I will accept Job's prayer and not deal with you according to your folly. You have not spoken of me what is right, and my servant, my servant Job has. So Eliphaz, Bildad, and Zophar, we learned about them. They did what the Lord told them, and the Lord accepted Job's prayer. Even when people are uh, giving us bad advice, even when people are being mean to us, we need to pray for them. We need to ask God to help them. And that's what Job did. One more thing uh, that happened to Job is that God blessed Job with twice as much as he had had before. And he allowed him to see four generations of his kids. Job 42 verses 10 to 17, okay? After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord made him prosperous again and gave him twice as much as he had before. All his brothers and sisters and everyone who had known him before came and ate with him in his house. They comforted him and consoled, comforted him, and consoled him over all the trouble the Lord had brought upon him, and each one gave him a piece of silver and a gold ring. The Lord blessed the latter part of Job's life more than the first. He had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, a 1,000 yoke of oxen, and a 1,000 donkeys. And he also had seven sons and three daughters. The first daughter he named Jemimiah, the second Keziah, and the third Karen. Nowhere in all the land were there found women as beautiful as Job's daughters, and their father granted them an inheritance along with their brothers. After this, Job lived to be a hundred and forty years old. Boys and girls, God blessed Job because of his faithfulness and because of his integrity. Do you know what integrity is? Integrity, I have an idea. Integrity is like these M&Ms, okay? Do you like M&Ms? If you like M&Ms, raise your hand. I love M&Ms, and in fact, right now, I'm going to go ahead and open these up, and I'm just, you, I love M&Ms so much, I'm just going to dump them right into my mouth. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dump. Oh! Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. Oh, my word. Those were not M&Ms. Those were peas. This doesn't say peas. This says M&M's. Oh, I was not expecting peas. Oh my goodness, when you open a bag of M&M's, what do you expect? M&M's, right? No, those were frozen peas. Oh my word. That taste is still in my mouth, you guys. Goodness gracious. That is not what I wanted. I wanted M&M's. <sighs> Integrity is when what's on the outside and what's on the inside are the same. That's integrity. When Job said that he followed God, okay, but then when he actually followed God, that's what showed his integrity, who he really is. When he prayed for his friends, even when they were mean to him, that showed that he was following God, that he was doing what God wanted him to. When Job, when his faith grew through his trials and he said, you know, now I've not just seen, he heard about God, now I've seen God, that was his integrity shining through. When Job um, chose not to curse God, even though everything was going wrong, that was integrity. When um, when Job prayed to God, even though he was frustrated, that was integrity. It's when what's on the inside matches what's on the outside. Boys and girls, I wonder how you think you can show integrity this week. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for the story of Job. Thank you for all that we've learned about him. And God, we especially thank you 
for how you are teaching us through him and through your holy word. God, I pray that you will help each one of us to have integrity this week. Help us to not just say that we love you, not just say that we worship you, but to actually do it. Not not only when people are watching, but when we're alone with you too. And when it's just in our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I encourage you to stay on and hit pause when you see some discussion questions. And answer these discussion questions with your family today. Bye-bye, everybody.